morning guys. It's a bit windy out today, so I've got the, the microphone out, so hopefully you can hear what I'm saying anyway. Um, hopefully my new camber arms from Hard Race should be arriving today. I've started getting a few bits and bobs in ready. I've got drills ready, new hubs on their way. I've also got a little surprise for the exhaust as well, so that's gonna be good fun. Not sure if they're gonna fit, might have to do some welding on that one, but still, it's gonna be good. So last night I went through and took all the arch lines out and gave everything a really good jet wash in there. So it's all super duper clean now. Yeah, so I've got to take this arm out here, it's just this bolt this end and there's one up the other end. And this sort adjusts the camber. There's a tow arm here that you can get replacements for, but I've been told that you don't need it, so I'm not gonna bother yet. And if I do need it, I'll probably just make my own ones because they're like 100 quid for literally a straight arm. So yeah, I'm just gonna buy a stock pair and weld in some threads and make it all legit. And yeah, so for the for the rear suspension, because I've got 16k springs on the front and 8k on the rear, it's gonna be a bit horrible. And plus, if I want to fit these weds up, I need a bit stiffer. So. Yeah, because I was struggling to figure out what I needed to do with the front, so I uh, ended up buying two pairs of springs I didn't use. One's from BC with 10k, and then I realised that wanted something a bit stiffer and they weren't low enough so then I bought some five inch long 16k springs and they weren't long they were still too long because they weren't compressing as much and I didn't work out the difference etc and my dad's got some four inch long 16k springs from the racing car I'm going to use them on the front and then put the five inch long ones on the rear and with this bit here because you've got the this cut thing here this one I've got another set of or another pair of those coming for the bottom and then because this is just obviously a big diamond it's 105 mil the other ones are 62 mil or 57 or whatever it is I'm gonna have one top and bottom bolt the bottom one in and then have the five inch spring in the middle and that should solve my rear spring problems and I don't have to buy any more springs because that is starting to get expensive so I'd rather not equal the same amount as I could have spent on air ride. So yeah that's my plan at the moment, just waiting for everything to come through the post obviously with all this Covid stuff it's all a bit slow and not expecting anything to turn up on time but yeah it's a bit annoying, it is what it is, do what I can, that's why I've jet washed everything and just get it going through and making sure everything looks alright. Speaking of the devil he's just arrived, hopefully that's my camera arms. They're here, all the way from Hard Race. Question is, who the hell buys camber arms for an XC60? Answer me that one. Yeah, I'll just go tear these open then. Yeah, this is really exciting for me because on all my, of my cars, I've never really touched the actual suspension components as such, other than the um, like actual coilovers or shocks or whatever. So yeah, first time I ever bought camber arms for anything. Nice. Boom. Ah, oh, they're nice. Wow, look how shiny that is. That's sick. Definitely worth 240 quid. <laughs> Yeah, so they replaced that middle arm there. They must be a guide. I'm gonna have a look. Not sure what you're gonna be able to see from here, but. Oh, buzzing, I've already got it on the ratchet. Wow, that's not a massive pain in the ass. One eternity later. Right, well, that took nine million years to get off. I've got no diagrams or anything, but I'm presuming it lines up something like that so one of my mates on instagram said that i might need to do a bit of modification on these to get more camber because they are set up as low as camber as they were gay not sure whether that's enough or not i won't know until i put it on but you can actually take this lock ring off here that can screw in all the way back to there and you gain another five mil of camber whatever that is in towards degrees but yeah so I just put a bolt in there to see how that lines up and then this over here I'm not sure how much camber this is going to give me but 
if it's not, I can take this ring out here and wind that all the way in. And then we've got a bit more camber. But yeah, we'll see how this goes in first. So I'm just gonna chuck that in there and... So just put the new camber arm in, not that you can see anything. But a lot of camber, this is just a rough guide. But about five or six degrees, which is good. I'm just gonna get a spigot ring and try the one of the rear weds on and see how it goes. do need a little bit more I think oh, do I flare the arches what do you reckon flared arches or I'd rather not flare the arches too much I mean this looks sick I'm well happy with this <laughs> look how camp it is your yeah, boy so I've got a little bit more camber to go on, on those arms. So I'll put that on and then the rest will have to be arch rolling. Luckily these arches are quite nice and flat so they'll be um, really easy to do. Yeah I've got these as well so these are just to go on the, on the bottom of the lower arm down there. So I'll have one top and bottom, 5 inch spring in the middle, bish bash bosh, 16k on the rear, 16k on the front. Well, that's all this side all buttoned up, so I'm just going to uh, copy it to the other side now. For some unknown reason, this side has given me a hell of a lot more camber or something else might be up. Not sure what, but this side fits perfectly. <laughs> little bit, tiny little bit of arch rolling, job done. So, just spent the last god knows how long looking around for some washers for these. So, the idea is at the moment the rear setup looks like this. So, you have just a cup on the top that goes up in there and then spring seats in this big ring here but because I'm using different strength springs you can't get them in this tapered, tapered shape so what we did was bought some universal spring perches, camera's done, front camera I have to reset up, check my track in and then it's just a case of region and the hubs which is going to be the fun bit. So just for flavour I thought I'd stick all of one side wheels on. It looks fucking sick. Can't wait. are going to be different. The front needs a little bit more cambering but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Rear's pretty much spot on. Just a little bit of uh, arch rolling. But yeah, that looks fucking wicked. Right, that's it for this episode anyway. Uh, next one I'm going to be doing arch rolling, tent to start drilling the hubs. I've got an adapter ready to do that. got my drills ready, waiting on a tap and a centre drill. So. Yeah, after I've got all of that, I can mark, start marking them up and give them a go by hand. If not, then I'm going to have to wait till I'm back at work to do those. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Yeah. Yeah.